Majesté, oh, by la terre Haiti has stolen my heart. How they just, even in the remote places, because we've been to a few satellite churches, and they're out in the mountains, but their love for the Lord is just so, so intense. And that blessed me much, and I can say that they, the Lord knows how to do, He knows when to bring us here and it was just the perfect timing because they were waiting. They were waiting for so long for us. So much honor, so much warmth and love. When we came into the city, it felt like it was just a little glimpse of like what we're going to feel when we get into heaven. Our brothers and sisters so happy to see us and greet us and welcome us in. The hope and the hard work that the people have and the fact that they get up every morning and continue to work hard and continue to just give praise for things to come and the teamwork that goes into being able to live it's really a whole community it was a tremendous welcome when we came into the city and though we don't speak the same language we worship and we serve the same savior and we've had a great time of fellowship and worship here in Manish. i am overwhelmed with joy and anticipation. I, I can't even describe how I'm feeling right now because I came back to a place where my mom was born. As a child, I never visited Manish. And as a grown up, the Lord sent me back to my roots to minister to the people of my mom's family. I cannot describe how awesome God is. It's a privilege for me to be among my people. Those are my people. I just pray that the Lord allows me to come back next year and maybe to continue this relationship that we started. And um, I just, again, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be here. And I'm blessed to have gotten to know these wonderful people. And I hope it's time.